Hey friends, it's Julia Harriet here. So glad to be back with you again this week. We thought it was time to explore the land of interior painting. Now, interior painting seems like something that would be intuitive. You get a paintbrush, a roller, you pick your color and you start painting. However, anyone who has attempted to paint a room in their house also knows that there are some very essential painting hacks, we'll call them, that you need to know so that your painting project comes out flawless. And that's what we're gonna be looking at this week. So my favorite tool is this. It's called the church key, I believe, and it's for opening paint cans, but this end opens beer. Is that essential while you're painting? Yeah, all painters paint. Oh yeah. All painters drink. Yeah, I've noted no that. Doubt about it. Mm-hmm, okay. You okay, we're gonna paint, paint some freaking walls today. Hey, Donald. Hey, Julia. How's it going? Pretty good, oh. pretty good for being at work. Um, what's going on today here? What are, what are we doing today? We got some touch of painting to do here. Get the end, bash on in. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you how to cut in corners so you don't have to put the blue tape on. Oh yeah, not that blue so tape. Long. It does. Great, looking forward to it. Good. Hello. Is this Craig? My name is uh, Job, spelled like Job Ross. I'm, a, um, I'm um, Bob Ross's little brother. Uh, whereas Bob went to fame and fortune um, painting landscapes, I paint houses, all right? And we're here to show you just how to cut in a line, okay? Thanks, Job, I mean Job. Job, yeah, thank you. So some people spend a lot of time with blue tape like taping in the corners so they don't get one color on the other wall. But if you know how to cut in paint, and you don't have to do that, and you save a lot of time. Mm, how come you're drinking wine? Well, that'll become up here. Okay, great. I try to quit drinking at night, so in the morning, I've got a little bit of shake, and the shakes are real important for getting a nice clean cut. <laughs> wow. In the afternoon, I can't cut, I just roll. Right, you don't paint, oh, you just roll. So here's my brush, I like about a two inch brush. Mm -hmm. This one is like, not stiff stiff, it's half stiff, perfect. It's a halfy. It's a halfy. Okay. And then the most important thing is don't go and dip your brush all the way into the can and get paint all the way up here, because it, it just gets paint everywhere. So just come in about a half an inch. Ooh, nice technique, neek, <laughs> <laughs> technique. You can see this needs to get painted here. So what I do, and I can only do this in the morning, like I said, when I'm shaking. Come in here. See how nice that cuts in when you're shaking? Now, why is the shaking so helpful, do you think, Donald? It just makes the paint flow. Ah, good flow goes a long ways. It does. You can come back with some brush strokes and get a little bigger. And then after this, after you cut in, you'll come with the roller and you'll just roll into that. Fabulous. I'm not, uh super confident about this uh, painting scheme we have going on here. Uh, the DTs are not the best thing for um, painting, but evidently it works. Do you normally hire drunks to be part of your crew? Well, it's hard to find a painter who's not a drunk. Um, sorry to all the painters out there to bring that to your attention, but um, it's kind of like a fumes thing. They're like, they, they just like the huffing of the paint. I don't think I've ever met a painter that wasn't an absolute drunk. Uh, and every time I painted, I've been drunk. And uh, it's cost me a few jobs. Uh, but uh, you know what, I didn't need them. I didn't need them because I'm job, excuse me. I'm Job Ross. I, what was that? Job? My name is Job Ross. I'm the younger brother of Bob Ross. And sure, he became famous because he could paint landscapes and everything. 
great. Oh, everyone loves the little fairly, fairly beautiful flowers and beautiful paintings. But you know what? People don't appreciate a good house painter because uh, it's not a landscape. It doesn't have little bunnies. It doesn't have little deer in it, little baby, little, little deer, little elves and stuff in it, and trees, and beautiful trees and beautiful flowers. But, uh, you know, fine. Thanks, mom and dad, for uh, not supporting my dreams. I'd like to thank our sponsor. That's uh, people that make uh, the wine wrap. Uh, sneak it, drink it. It's just hard to get the wine in there. It's easy to get out, but it's hard to get the wine in. We need some better funnels. I think if we're looking for a sponsor, you're not supposed to talk about the deficits of a product. You're oh, okay. supposed to really highlight the positives. It's um, really good. We're, we're buddies. We're like painting buddies. You're like yeah. the best boss I've ever had. This is like this is like the brother I never had. How long have you guys been painting together? Oh, God, 17? Ooh, 18, 18 years. Yeah. Bob, Bob tried to hire me to help him paint. You want me to do the backgrounds? And he comes in, does a little happy shit. I'm gonna go <laughs> paint houses with Craig. We ain't got time for that happy painting shit. No, we gotta paint, we gotta get this done, all right? Yeah. People don't want happy clouds and stuff. What do people want? They want you to get the heck out of their house <laughs> and be done with the whole project. And clean up. And clean up. Yeah. Make sure that you don't spill paint on the floor. Tarps. No, no handprints. No handprint. <laughs> Sorry, a couple times I left some handprints. <laughs> I don't know. I don't wash very often. Do you try to work with a extinguisher in case something happens? Is that is that Pam? Pam spray. Oh, that's Pam spray. That's Pam a, spray. That'd be <laughs> horrible. <laughs> on a, on a oven fire. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Is this Coffee Talk with Job? Welcome to Coffee Talk with Job, okay? We're gonna talk about trim. What I like to do is when I purchase my trim, I like to put it out in the garage on sawhorses and I like to get a first coat of paint on it. Everything, just paint all the trim. Whether it's just primer, if you can do a double coat primer and a finished coat, that's great. So then when you install it, you cut it, then there's just touch up and it makes it a lot easier. And this is something that, uh, that uh, many times I've overlooked. Painting your trim first, whether it's exterior trim, whether it's interior trim, just take it and give it a good coat first, paint it all, then the touch up is so much easier. Don't install raw trim and then come back and paint it. Nah, don't do that, just do that, paint did, it first. Did Bob teach you that? Bob didn't teach me squat, okay? He was just all about happy trim and happy colors. What about happy mistakes? Maybe that would help you in your life, Joe. We have had many happy mistakes. Unfortunately, the client doesn't seem to be as happy when we've had those happy mistakes, but it's always a good laugh for us. Um, but uh, happy mistakes are part of the learning process, okay? And you can't learn unless you make a few mistakes, all right? Come on, don't be afraid to make a mistake and own it, okay? It's the best thing. Don't pretend it didn't happen. There you go. Thanks, Job. But I got tits to play with now. Oh. Awesome. So, um, do you want to let the people know that are watching this about how much you like Wine Rack? I really like it. I think there's one part that's missing. I can't figure out how to fill this up. Wow. Then somehow it goes underneath and then you suck on this end. Doubles is a cost to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. gonna look kind of obvious at a concert sucking on a nipple. <laughs> oh, Craig, that feels really good. Hey, look, if you want to do a good paint job, you gotta be relaxed. Okay? You're the best boss I've ever had. Mm. You're so gentle and kind. Um, oh, man. What about getting this job finished? We got plenty of time. The client's not coming sure? for at least three hours. Mm. He said that three hours ago. Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? What are you guys ah, doing? Geez. You guys are supposed to be done hours ago. My family's going to be home in 15 minutes. You promised you wouldn't do this again. I told you, Craig. It's his fault. He was cutting my hair. Damn it, Job. This is why you're gonna be jobless again, Job. More like Jobless. Hello there. So we've got this lovely crown molding that we've already painted, as we mentioned. Paint the trim first. So I'm coming in to kind of clean up any spots that ended up on the wall. So I'm gonna come in, as uh, Don taught us, I'm gonna 
you know, come in firmly, but give it a little bit of a nice contour, a little touch. And then one of the tricks that's great because you really want it to transition well into the wall itself once you roll the wall out is you just do something called feathering, which is where you just take it and gently bring it down to incorporate it further down so you don't have that odd line that sometimes happens. And it also really helps when you are rolling to have a little bit fatter of an area of transition because then you don't have any spots. And that's one of my tips. Hey. Yeah, you missed a spot up there. Yeah, to the right. All right. You are. Okay, Bruby, wait. <laughs> well, Don, Job, and I, also known as Craig, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that the next time you approach an interior painting project, you take these tips and you apply them. And we'd love to know how it goes or if you have questions. So please subscribe like our videos, send us a message, send us ideas. We love your feedback. We really appreciate it. And it helps us to grow our content for you because really that's what drives us is what do you want to learn? And really there are so many things we can talk about paint and we will definitely be doing some more talking um, to come. But yeah, shoot us a question and we look forward to it. Be well, take care and have fun. Mm -hmm.